In order to stay healthy, you need to eat variety of nutritious foods every day. Do you want to know the importance of nutrition among adolescents like you? Hi students! Welcome sa aking channel! Ready na ba kayo sa unang episode ng Learning with Miss Maybelline? Well, I am Miss Maybelline ang bago ninyong kakwentuhan at magbibigay ng mga bagong kaalaman. Ready na ba kayo? For today's video, we will talk about the nutritional needs of adolescents. Bago natin isa-isahin ang nutritional need ng isang adolescent na katulad mo, tignan muna natin kung ikaw ba ay sumasang-ayon o hindi sa mga pahayag na sasabihin ko. Nutrition is critical during teenage years. Eating disorder is an extreme but safe eating behavior. Disease and malnutrition are closely related. You can eat anything as it makes you happy. Proper food selection and eating are essential to achieving one's full growth potential. Type your answers on the comment box below this video. Dahil sa mabilis mong paglaki, kailangan mo ng maayos sa nutrisyon. You need certain nutrients like calcium, iron, protein, and carbohydrates or energy foods. Sa stage na ito, mararanasan mong mag-increase ang appetite. Kaya naman, it is really important that food choices are made carefully. Ito ang food pyramid. Makakatulong ito para malaman natin kung ano nga ba ang mga kailangan nating pagkain at tamang serving nito para sa ating katawan. Interpreting food pyramid is very easy. As you can see, the foods near the bottom of the pyramid should be eaten but taken in large amount. And those that are on top should be eaten and taken in small amount and in moderation. Ano-ano nga ba ang mga nutrients sa kailangan natin sa ating katawan? First is calcium. It can help us for bone development and vital body functions such as blood clotting, heart muscle contraction and relaxation, transmission of nerve impulse and activation of enzymes. It can also lessen your chance of developing osteoporosis. Alam nyo ba na ang calcium requirement ng isang adolescent per day is 1,000 mg lamang? Ito ay makukuha sa tofu, leafy vegetables, and dairy products. Second is iron. It can help us in proper functioning of cells and for resistance to infection. Boys in 13 to 15 years of age need 20 mg while girls need 21 mg a day. You can improve absorption of iron from plants by eating fruits or drinking juices that contains vitamin C. Third is protein. It helps us for growth and development of your body, especially for your bones and muscles. It helps us make enzymes, antibodies, and hormones. It also supplies body with energy even if it is not your body's main source of energy. We can get protein from bodybuilding food like animal products such as meat, fish, poultry, eggs, milk, cheese, and soybeans. Lastly, we have fiber. It helps in our digestion, prevents constipation and other intestinal problems, and reduces your risk of heart diseases. You need 20 to 35 grams daily. We can get it from fruits and leafy vegetables. Ano nga ba mga dapat nating gawin para mag-grow at mag-develop ang iyong katawan pati na din ang iyong nutritional status? Number 1. Eat a variety of foods daily. Number 2. Maintain a healthy weight. Number 3. Eat foods that are low on fat and cholesterol to lower the risk of heart disease. Number 4. Drink milk products and other calcium-rich foods. Number 5. Eat plenty of vegetables, fruits, root crops, and grain products. Number 6. Use sugar in moderation. Number 7. Eat clean and safe food. And lastly, use iodized salt but avoid excessive intake of salty food. Too much salt in the diet may increase the risk of having high blood pressure. 
Remember that there is a strong relationship between what you eat and your health. Not only today, but for the future as well. Mahalin mo ang katawan mo kasi wala na may ibang magmamahal niyan kundi ang sarili mo. Healthy reminder, ang lahat ng sobra hindi maganda para sa ating katawan. Tandaan mo rin na ang pagkain ng tama na kailangan ng katawan ay makakatulong sa pag-grow at pag-iwas sa future health problems. Now, let us check your understanding on the topic by answering this activity. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. The growth spurt during adolescence creates lower demand for energy and nutrients. Eating a variety of foods once a week is a good nutritional habit. You can get calcium from dairy products, leafy vegetables, and tofu. Iron is the body's main source of energy. Fiber helps in our digestion. Just type your answer on the comment box below this video. If you find this video helpful, please hit like and if you want more learning with Miss Babylon videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for the upcoming episodes. I hope you learned something from me. See you on the next video. Bye and happy learning!